Hey everyone, this is Kelly. Thank you for stopping by today. I thought I would talk a little bit about something that is weighing heavy on my mind that I'm sure is on a lot of your minds as well. I'm sure that you've noticed an uptick in people getting angry, not only on social media, but while driving are the two biggest places that I notice. I know there's a lot of stress in this world, but I wanted to talk to you about just not letting people steal your joy. Um, I'll start with the social media example. So some of y'all might know a while, not too long ago, I did a video on the better than bullion that I got. And I did a post on Facebook and it got a lot of likes and a lot of people were saying, oh yeah, I've got that in my pantry and it's good and this and that and the other. But I had some people come on and say, oh, that's toxic. That's poison. That is so bad for you. That will slowly kill you. And I'm thinking, seriously, people, I mean, stay in your lane. If you don't like what I'm saying and you want to eat your beans and rice plain, have at it, but don't come steal my joy. And I know that I've seen other people talk about the same thing on YouTube. They say that trolls in the comments say all these hateful things. And in today's world, that's just not necessary. Don't let people steal your joy. And I also notice when driving how rude a lot of people have become. It's you know, I'm sure it's happening everywhere. It's not just exclusive to my neck of the woods, but um, <laughs> not that long ago, I was just trying to leave enough space. I was at a red light and there was a little um, entrance and an exit to a parking lot and I was just leaving a space in between me so the person that was waiting to pull out could do it. It was no skin off my nose. I wasn't gonna get to my place any uh, later by letting them go in front of me but as soon as the light turned green and the person behind me just started honking at me because I was I was letting this person out so I mean my gut instinct is to just let the whole entire parking lot out but it just got me to thinking people are getting so rude on the streets you try to do something nice for someone and somebody wants to honk and steal your joy and we live on a street that has, for whatever reason, become a cut through so people can avoid a couple of major lights. Uh, they just always fly down our street. I've had my dog run over in a hit and run. Uh, we get honked at and flipped off when we're trying to pull into our own driveway. I guess they want us to do that at 45 miles an hour or something. Um, there's times we're trying to back out of our driveway and people purposely speed up so that we can't get out and it's just become a competitive sport and I'm just kind of over it you know so that just got me thinking we need to not let others steal our joy so um that reminded me not that long ago um Lynn, Lynn Wilson with At Home with, with Lynn Wilson. I have the hardest time saying that. I'm so sorry. But she has such a great channel. She talked about something that I didn't even know was a thing because I don't really watch the news that much anymore. Um, she said that a lot of people are considering canceling Thanksgiving. And I was just blown away. And I was like, why? You know, but she said that people are saying it's too expensive to have Thanksgiving and she did a great video recently on how you can throw together a Thanksgiving meal for under three dollars a person and I highly recommend that you watch that but um, it just got me thinking why the, since 2020 we have given up so much and have been letting the powers that be tell us what we can and can't do you can't go to the gym you can't go out and exercise. You you need to stay home, stay home, stay home. Well, you know, and I understood that at the time. But here we are a couple of years later. And just people are like conditioned now to think, oh, okay, it's normal to give up something that we enjoy doing. And so 
I just wanted to talk to you about that and get your get your feedback. Um, there's plenty of ways to still enjoy Thanksgiving. You know, back when my kids were in daycare for Thanksgiving, they would have this thing. It's called Friendship Stew, and every every classmate would bring a vegetable or you know some item, and they would throw it all together in a crock pot, and by lunch. It was a wonderful meal. It was a wonderful stew. So it got me thinking, you know, if if people are seriously considering not getting together with loved ones because it's too expensive, consider options. You don't have to do the traditional turkey or uh, with all the fixings. Do a potluck. Have everybody bring something or, you know, we've done spaghetti a couple years in a row. Um, you know, there's just so many alternatives, and a lot of you probably have some things put away in your pantry that you could pull out and not have to spend, but I just want to tell you the theme of this video today is don't let people steal your joy. Don't not have Thanksgiving. I have lost more loved ones in the past couple of years than I can count, and I'm just... You know, my dad died this year, and I would have given anything to spend one more Thanksgiving with him. So, don't don't give up seeing your family this year. Celebrate the time that you have together. We never know when our last day will be here. So, that's all I wanted to say today. Forgive me for ranting, but I just wanted to close by saying that everybody just stay in your own lane and don't let people steal your joy. I hope you all have a blessed day. Thank you.